Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to share with you my weekly Walmart grocery haul. All right, so my total spent this week is $84.16. Out of that, $15.26 was in the beauty category. Fur Babies is $21.16 and Food is $47.74. And this is going to be for the week of July 26th. All right, let me go ahead and just jump into it and show you guys what I got. All right, over here on my left, I grabbed three of these one pound bags of lentils. I can do a lot with lentils. I can make a lentil stew, I can make soup. I have plenty of better than bouillon in my refrigerator, so lot, lots of good things can be done with, uh, with lentils. As a side, I have, let's see, there's one, two, three. So three bags of this deluxe stir fry. This is a frozen bag. And I just wanna try something a little different. I've been doing a lot of, uh, what is it, broccoli and Brussels sprouts and just wanted to try something new. So we're gonna give that a go. And then, let's see here, I got four of these packets of taco seasoning. I'm going to be making um, quinoa for quinoa bowls. And just to give it a little bit of kick, I'll be adding some taco seasoning while it's cooking. Also for my quinoa bowls, I've got, uh, let's see, three bags of frozen corn. It was on my grocery list to get canned corn, but my grocery store, I went to Walmart, they were completely out of canned corn, at least the Walmart brand, and I just wasn't willing to spend a dollar a can. So I went ahead and grabbed three of these steamable bags instead. And then this is new. I've never tried this. I don't know if you guys ever tried this. I found it in the frozen section. Um, it is a root blend. So it has beets, carrots, parsnips, and sweet potato. Um, trying to do a lot of veggies. And this looked interesting. I don't know if I like it or not, but I'm going to give it a try. It was on the higher side. I think it was like $2.50 for this bag. And but it is 20 ounces, so I guess that's not too bad. Um, so if you guys have tried this, let me know if you have and what you do with it. Do you just eat it, like steam it, of course, and then eat it as is, or do you do something else with it? I don't know, it's worth a shot, so I grabbed this to try. And then I grabbed a pound of baby carrots. I do have quite a bit of hummus in the freezer that I made a while ago. Um, but the main thing I got the carrots for was to make the cheesy vegan sauce um, from Planiful Kiki, and it calls for a half a cup of carrots, so that'll serve a couple purposes. I did get some cooking spray. Um, I found a an easy recipe online to make quinoa in my Instant Pot, and it suggests that you spray the inside of the Instant Pot before you put your quinoa and your water. Um, and so that's what that is for. I don't usually use cooking sprays because I only cook in the Instant Pot for the most part, but um, that's what that's for. All right, then I grabbed four of these two pound bags of crinkle cut French fried potatoes. I am really excited about this. So this is like lunch or dinner, I'll do Half of my plate is starch and half of my plate is veggies. So I could do um, probably a half a pound or so of French fries with some of that cheesy sauce I'm gonna make. And then half of my plate would be the stir fry or um, the Brussels sprouts or, or the um, broccoli that I already have on hand. So I am following a starch solution diet which means that half of my plate is starch, half of my plate is veggies. And so that's why I've got a lot of French fries. These have no oil. I'll do these in my Instant Pot, which makes them lower calorie, even though they're French fries. All right, also potatoes. I got two five pound bags of potatoes. This will be for, I can do mashed potatoes. I can do baked potatoes in the microwave. Um, I'll do one of these five pound bags in my Instant Pot, um, and then three cups of that will go towards, um, will go to uh, making that cheesy sauce, because it does, does uh, call for potatoes as well. 
All right, um, four cans of black beans. This is gonna be for my quinoa bowl. I'll mix the corn and black beans together and then add about a cup of quinoa um, for that. And then to drink, I grabbed two of these blackberry lemonades. I really like these. These are really good. If you haven't tried them, check them out. And then coffee, I've got um, one can of decaf, one can of regular, because I'm doing, for the most part, half-calf or even less than half-calf. Um, I can do decaf, but I need a little bit of a kick in the morning. I tried to go completely decaf, and it's just, it's been a struggle. All right, and then for seasoning, I got chili powder. I'm going to make this rice and beans that um, I found on Garbanzo Girl's YouTube page. She hasn't posted in quite a while, but she has a black beans and rice recipe that I absolutely love. It calls for um, chili powder in addition to a ton of other spices, but I couldn't remember if I had any, so I went ahead and grabbed some while I was at the store. And then for fur babies, I have um, this 12 pack of Caesar. This is the fillets and it is, I think, filet mignon and New York strip flavor. Chewy really likes this. And then for Tink, I got her some um, grilled fancy feast. This is her favorite. I do still have about 12 cans of cat food left but it is the gravy lovers and I think it upsets her tummy a little bit to be to say it nicely and so I need to get her back into the the grill that has less gravy because it it tends to agree with her a little bit better and then last for Chewy are busy bones these are his favorites he gets one per day and he absolutely goes nuts for those all right, so that is everything. And um, so again, this is going to be for the week of July 26th. My food total is $47.74. My weekly grocery budget is $60, so I am under budget. You know, I may go back to the store and pick up, you know, something that I might need, maybe something I forgot. I'm just getting back from vacation. And oddly enough, well... I don't know. I had a lot of food left over that I did not eat while I was on vacation. My friend and her parents um, went and her daughter and they cooked as well. And they did have, you know, some vegetarian options for me. And were so I ate, I ate with them and then we ate out one day. So I didn't end up eating all of the food that I took. So I do still have quite a bit uh, left over from last week that I'm going to be using as well. Um, so yeah, food is $47.74. Fur babies was $21.16. And then, oh, the beauty, that's what I'm forgetting. So beauty is $15.26. I grabbed this, I don't know how to say it, Cetaphil, Cetaphil. It is the um, daily lotion and it's got the high hyaluronic acid in it. And this is the only um, face lotion that I have been able to find that does not sting my eyes because I use it all over my face. So um, this is really good stuff. I use this underneath my foundation and it doesn't, you know, make my makeup do anything weird or break up. So this is good stuff, but it's very expensive. It's like $13. This is not in the beauty category, but I lumped it together because it's kind of one of those odd things that doesn't really belong anywhere is one of these spring links. I used these to attach my keys and I needed an extra. I have one for my car and then I need needed an extra for my house keys. So I lumped this into the beauty category just because it didn't really belong anywhere else. All right, guys, um, I will go ahead and insert a clip of the Walmart grocery apps so that you guys can get an idea of the prices in my area. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.